Hey there everyone, thanks for tuning in for the next video review. And right now we are looking at the General Giant First Order Stormtrooper from Star Wars The Force Awakens. This has to be um, one of my favorite Stormtrooper or I guess Trooper designs. Um, I wasn't always a big fan of the Imperial Stormtrooper. Um, the Phase 1 Clone Troopers were pretty cool, you know, there wasn't much variation be besides, you know, the color schemes for the rankings, um, but the Phase 2 Clone Troopers had been my absolute favorites, and the First Order Storm Stormtrooper probably falls right behind them um, in my favorite Stormtrooper listing, or Clone Trooper listing. And, you know, we see the Stormtroopers in The Force Awakens more menacing and more ruthless as we haven't seen for a while. Um, I kind of like it in that way because we see how much darker the First Order is than the Empire was. Granted, you know, the movies when they were made, you can only see so much. You know, we kind of relied more on the books to see what really went on behind the scenes. But film-wise, we really got to see the effect and tragedy that the First Order was inflicting on everyone, um, even based on just the stormtroopers going through villages and burning down homes and towns and killing people and everything so it did take on a much darker tone than what we've seen which you know reflects kind of in the armor um yeah it's kind of i know it's kind of a deep thinking process with that but general giant has been able to capture it as always um they've done another fantastic job there is one minor complaint which if you do have this piece you might know what it is you might know what, what i'm going to say about it but i'll cover that in a little bit um, as usual, let's take a quick look at the box first. And General Giant changed up the box all right with this. Um, they kind of went with the size of the classic minibus that we've been getting, kind of to tone down or to narrow down the box, make it a lot smaller than usual. Um, I know in the past, even for just the Stormtrooper, granted we would have a bunch of accessories with it as you know, changing parts, um, interchangeable hands and arms, and sometimes helmets. We've never really had a box this small for a normal minibus. Um, I guess it saves on shipping, it saves on them with packaging, and quite frankly, it's not a big deal because we don't need huge boxes and helps for collectors too who do keep the boxes. Um, here's an image on the back of the Stormtrooper from the movie. And here is a short bio, I'll zoom in on that for you to pause to read. And as always, we do have a certificate of authenticity here. And this one is numbered 1,777 out of 3,700. So this was a huge release. We haven't had a um, release this big in quite a while. So, you know, everyone who wanted a first order uh, Stormtrooper minibus was sure to have it. So getting a close-up right here on the helmet, you know, we do see a lot of similarities to the um, original Stormtrooper helmet, you know, kind of with the eyes and the, uh, I guess, gills or the vents, if you want to say. We do have a few, of course, the overall changes. We have kind of the duckbill shape and the visor, um, or the lens, if you want to call it, goes down around the mouth and over the nose. Mm -hmm. But it is a very cool design, um, kind of like a cross of a biker helmet and a, I guess, a stormtrooper helmet, if you want to call it. You know, we have the beautiful white going through the white and black, that classic stormtrooper look. Mm -hmm. Getting a lower look right there with the arms. What I do love about General Giant too, they're able to capture all the textures and the changes. Um, so, you know, we do feel the elbow joint right here. It's not just flat. We actually feel kind of the graded texture right here with the rubber undersuit. The blaster has to be my favorite part. It's almost like a classic blaster, but just looks so much cooler with the white and black tones, and just it just fits the Stormtrooper persona more. Um, it's I think it's a fantastic piece with just the blaster itself. If you know General Giant ever gets into the replica business, you know prop replicas, they would they would do a fantastic job with it, of course. Taking a look at the back, not too much going on. It's pretty simple. Um, I know a lot of people kept asking, you know, oh, what's this little spot for and these and the pouch and everything. I don't think we really know. I think that's just a design 
that they came up with. Mm -hmm. um, of course, these canisters probably for ammunition or tools or what have you, um, any supplies that we mm -hmm. usually see. And again, on the bottom, we have the edition number, uh, Star Wars First Order Stormtrooper with the logos. And the paint apps are well done. Now, it is kind of hard to see in the camera. I'm not sure if it'll pick it up, but a lot of people were complaining, and unfortunately, mine came this way as well. The body, the torso, is not as white as the arms and the helmet, which is very odd. I'm not sure how that happened. I'm not sure why that happened. Um, it's almost like a... I guess not a yellowing, it's almost like a yellowing or a beige color to it as if they used the wrong kind of paint on the body. And at first I thought maybe it was a random occurrence, maybe a bad batch, but it seems like almost every person that I have seen with this mini bust has that complaint. I don't know how that happens, I would assume they use the same paint on the helmet and the arms as they do with the torso. But if it captures it in the video, you could see it, if not, it's definitely something you see in person and something that you may or may not always pick up on depending you know if you have it around other pieces or how closely you actually pay attention but it is almost a beige or sand sandish color to the white here um, to the torso as opposed to the arms and the helmet that is kind of a bummer um, General Giant didn't do much about it um, I guess it's just a flaw in the paint or whatever happened um, so, you know, that is kind of unfortunate. I wish there was something they can do or I wish this hadn't happened in the beginning, but I don't think anyone really knows why or how this happened anyway. So just taking a closer look at the arms as well, did not get that earlier. You know, we have all the detail captured here in the arms as well. Um, I guess the wrist gauntlets here and there. And taking a closer look at the gun from different angles. And just all the little details that, you know, um, General Giant really isn't known to miss and they always captured, which is really cool to have. So there we have it, folks. The First Order Stormtrooper Mini Bust. Um, overall, a great looking piece. I love the pose for it. It's almost like they, the uh, ready to fight or the ready to fire pose. Um, and really the only flaw is the main torso which unfortunately is kind of a big flaw but it is what it is um it still looks great overall it's great quality everything else is great the paint applications are great and i'm still happy with it so thank you for tuning in if you do have a chance to pick it up feel free to pick it up it's a great addition to any star wars fan collection and thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for the next video review